The George Santos guy has some serious problems, and I'd live a good life if I never met the guy. Probably most of us would. But I think it's wrong that he was expelled without putting it to the voters or without running it through the court process. The judicial system determines the guilt. The guy's been indicted. Let that play itself out. Anybody since the Civil War who has been expelled, it's only been two people, both of them were convicted in a court of law before their fellow congressmen got them out. As ugly as politicians are, and I think many of their behaviors are god-awful ugly, some of them downright criminal, we have a system for dealing with who serves in Congress. It's this thing we call elections in our country. We have them every two years for Congress. There's another one next year, just like there was one last year. So if it has to be outside of that normal democratic process, it better darn well be a court of law that's found somebody guilty. Now that this guy has been expelled and he does seem like a pathological liar and everything else, if, if what's printed in the press is to be believed. That being said, this sets a terrible precedent. Now that they can use this for George Santos, they can use this for anybody. I mean, Bob Menendez, gold bars. You could talk about that example. Go straight down the list. This should be up to the voters and to the courts, not to a bunch of fellow congressmen to over override the democratic will of the people. And that may not be a popular position right now, but I think it's important that somebody speak the truth, not just when it's easy, but when it's hard.